Hi, in this video we are going to explore one of Confluence's most popular features, tables. Tables are effective to help you organize content, facilitate navigation and access to information. Here are a couple tips to help you get the best out of Confluence tables. First, let's see how you can add and structure a table. Navigate to your Confluence page and click Edit. Select the table icon from the top menu or simply type slash table. By default, the table contains three columns and rows. You can add new ones by selecting plus and adjusting their width. Then, make sure to include clear and descriptive headers. For this, select table options and choose whether to highlight columns or rows. You can customize your table cells by selecting the drop-down. Here you can choose a color, insert, sort or delete columns and rows. Now that you have created your table, you can start filling it with information. You can further contextualize your tables by incorporating macros. In our example, we will add expanders, assign users, highlight priority with a specific color, add a published date, and specify a status. Our table is now content-rich and provides readers with specific information in a structured way. You can turn complex tables into easily digestible graphs allowing users to grasp and derive insights. In our example, we will transform sales figures into a graph. Select, Insert Graph. One will be generated automatically. You can choose what data to display, Specify the chart type. Choose your chart title and name the X and Y axis. Click update and watch your data come to life. Some of the most important and useful Confluence smart macros come in the form of tables. Let's start with page properties macros. Navigate to your page and click edit. Insert the page properties macro to relay important information for a given page. In our example, we will create a table displaying the page owner, status, and due date for a blog post. Now, pages containing the page properties macro can all be grouped within a holistic table with the page properties report macro. Let's navigate to the home page and insert the macro by typing slash page properties report. As you can see a table is immediately generated displaying the properties we have defined for each page. Another important table macro to consider is the Tasks Report macro. This macro helps you create a centralized report containing a list of action items for multiple pages and spaces. In our example, the tasks include the action, assignee, and status. Then, navigate to the page you want to insert the task report. Specify the space, assign us, number of tasks to be displayed per page, and more. As you can see, the table contains all the information we have specified and links directly to the space in which the task appears. Other honorable mentions for Smart Confluence reports include the Decision Report Macro and Content Report Table Macro. For more tips like this make sure to visit our blog and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.